hello everyone this is your girl again sassy hilda today i'm back with a new tutorial and today's tutorial is different like always well today i'll be doing a painting and i'll be painting a frame with the logo of eve saint laurent and um this painting is really inspiring because i got inspired by pinterest and i really like this paint it will have a flower and I'll be using some other things to make it look beautiful but like I said this is not a professional painting I'm not a professional I'm doing this because I like it and I'll be doing this painting because I have been pushed and I'm going for it so now I'm going into the tutorial but before I start like I always said I want you to subscribe if you haven't subscribed you're welcome to the club and those who have subscribed I would like your comments and well I would like everybody's comments because your comments are very good and they make me do very well they push me as well because it makes me know what I do good and what I don't really do well so please when you watch I would like your comments and your likes as well thank you because I know you guys are very supportive and I'll keep doing good videos because I know you like it so stay tuned and so I have a big canvas frame and this is 60 by 81 centimeter this is what I'll be using for the painting i'm going to be using several painting brush and a board for mixing of the colors i'll be using different types of primary colors for this painting so now i'll be mixing these two colors which is a gray and a white i'll take a little bit of some gray and i also want to put a little bit of uh, pink which is called a candy 3 satin and a little bit of white
as you can see I've already done this part because uh, my camera battery was low so I had to do it off camera and now I'm going to do the same thing on this side the only different thing that I did here to make the work a bit faster was I had to put some black color on the flower and um, maybe some pink to like a foundation on this part to make it look like a pink and gray and then here I put some highlights in between this place I put a white and a gray background and then here is particularly uh, a gray and white but then I have made a transition in, in between you won't be able to see it properly but there's a transition between the colors so now I'm going to go to this other side of the frame
okay don't panic i'm going to show you how i apply the foil i'll first of all take the e6000 glue i'm going to paint it on top of the logo that i traced and when i finish that i will just gently take the foil because this foil is very light and it breaks so easily so i'm just going to take it gently and i'll apply it on the glue without letting it dry and i'll press it with a brush gently and once it's pressed on it i will just take out the foil and try to shaping out the sides so it will look even i'll continue doing that until i get the complete shape of the logo i will make the y the s and the l and once it's done i will try to clean up and make it look a little bit neater yeah so this is the end of the tutorial i hope you guys liked it and enjoyed it thank you so much for staying tuned to the end of this tutorial it was a pleasure for me doing this and i hope to bring you more interesting tutorials and also i'll be putting all the items i used down below in the description box so don't hesitate to go down and check on it and if you have any question please drop me a note and i'll be reading and responding thank you so much and i love you all Bye.